morning friends so <laughs> it is about 6 30 um we lost power i guess there was a still not sure there was an accident up the road or a fire we're not really sure it happened about while well, our power went out about 2 45 and as soon as it went out i was awake because of course i sleep with a fan next to me so it got really quiet and then we have uh, B monitor so we can hear the kids in their room and of course without power that wasn't working so I was all sketched out not to mention the fact that I was worried that it was going to get really cold in the house I was worried about our poor fish because I was afraid they were going to get cold and die I was worried about what I was going to do with my kids all day today with the heat not working and not having water and so I have been awake since about 2.45, but I stayed in bed because it was nice and warm until I heard the kids crying, you know, hollering to me. Um, that was about 6 o'clock. It's about 6.30 now. Everything is working. Our heat, our house is warmed back up, but it was only 11 degrees last night, so the house got pretty cold. Um... Luckily, it didn't take long for it to reheat, but, um, so that's the kind of morning I've had. So, I have passed by the water for now. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, try to wake up. I gotta get some, a little bit more cleaning done. Uh, we are having a weather auditor here today to check out our house, because we're trying to get the whole house weatherized. Um, we've been on a wait list for about six months, and they're coming today. All I really want to do is go back to bed. So I am seeing a nap in my future today. Hopefully me and Grayson can go and lay in bed and watch a movie while Willow is sleeping. But I will keep you posted. Bye, guys. Morning, friends. This will have to be quick. I am going to do today my first full day on Simply Filling. Um, I tracked yesterday as if I was doing Simply Filling, but I didn't actually know I was doing Simply Filling until after breakfast. So this morning I'm having basically the same breakfast as yesterday, but today... Hold on. You're all done. Today I am using the Pepperidge Farm Light soft wheat bread. Now normally these are one smart point a slice. So a good deal. They're, they're probably just as small as the Sara Lee bread, but I think they taste better. Um, they are uh, zero points on Simply Filling. So I have two points of avocado on here, so I do have to count the two points of avocado. Um, I have less than two teaspoons of the cedars lemon hummus which is zero and then just some sprouts on the top in my coffee today i have just one tablespoon of the I'm back to pumpkin spice because my store does not have the peppermint mocha anymore i'm so sad because this year i was going to stock up on that one and it looks like i'll still be able to stock up on the pumpkin which is fine um, so I have one tablespoon of that and some cashew milk, so that is zero points. So I have a two-point breakfast. Um, I am going to try and stick to the... When I switched yesterday, of course, my weeks start on Mondays. Oh, and I'm going to eat a banana. Um, my weeks start on Mondays, and I had already tracked Monday, Tuesday, and... Monday and Tuesday so I didn't have when I switched it changed everything and I only had like 17 weekly points left because it tracked everything that I had already eaten um, that wasn't simply filling and took most of my points away so I'm gonna try to stick to really low only like three or four points worth of unsimply filling food a day until Monday because most actually I think I only had like 12 12 weeklies left yesterday because it took into consideration everything I've eaten all week well Monday and Tuesday so 
I'm going to just do the best I can to stick to at least under five because I think if I did the math right, if I get 28 weeklies, I should be able to use four points a day, seven days. That's 28. So I'm going to try to stick to four points a day. So, so far I've had two. Um, I'm going to do a little meal prep today. bought these cute little meal they're two-sided just a minute thank you i'll come turn it back on um i bought these cute little meal prep there's three of them so i'm gonna try to cook up some rice and some beans and some vegetables and get those portioned for a zero point lunch option for the next couple of days um, and then I am making, they're pretty big too, um, I am making shepherd's pie for my husband and my kids for supper, so I will probably just eat pea soup again because it was delicious. Um, for one cup it is one smart point just for the ham that is in there, um, so I'll either have one or two pieces, I mean two servings, if I have two servings that'll be my four points for today. So. That being said, I'm going to go eat my breakfast and I will check in with you when I can. Okay, bye. Hi guys. So I'm just um putting together some lunch and I was trying to decide what to do. I've been eating a lot of rice and beans, obviously. Um, and I'm getting a little sick of the whole like taco rice and beans. So I wanted to do something different. So I was trying to find a recipe that I could cook to eat hot or cold and to be able to put into my meal prep containers. So I think I've come up with something. In this bowl here, I have a can of chickpeas that were washed and drained. Those are simply filling. I have a can of artichoke hearts that were in water. Um, those are free anyways. I just rinsed them and cut them up. There is some capers, which are zero points, some red pepper, and some red onion, and then I have cooked a little brown rice. I am just waiting for it to cool, because um, I don't want to eat it hot. I don't want to. You certainly could do this and eat it hot, but I've been kind of running my fork through it, trying to cool it down, and then... I am going to, there's some dill, some dried dill in there with salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add some lemon juice and a little bit of this fat-free balsamic. This is on Simply Filling. So um, I'm just going to make a nice salad out of it. I wish I had some cherry tomatoes, but I don't have any. Um, so I will make do. I will probably put that in the smaller side. This is pretty big I didn't realize how how big it really is it's pretty deep so I think I will put the rice salad on one side and a green salad on the other I bought a couple of the bacon and blue um, fresh express salad kits I don't like blue dress blue cheese dressing and I obviously wouldn't eat the bacon but they were on sale at my store for 99 cents and I like the convenience of the greens just chopped up Oh, and I'm probably going to add some green onion in here too. But um, I think I'll put a green salad in the other side. Um, maybe with something on top. I'm not really sure. But um, that'll be my lunches for the next couple of days. I'm starving. It is only 11.40, but I've been with the energy auditor all morning. doesn't look so bad out right now but we are expecting like a foot of snow tonight so I'm trying to just be prepared um, so yeah I will let you know when it's all done and show it to you when it's all put together but for now this is my plan so I'll be back hey guys so it's finally time to eat but I wanted to show you so I cooked two cups of dry 
brown rice. It was just instant rice. Um, this is the thing that I have been stressing about the most with switching to Simply Filling is to keep my portions in check. I cooked two cups, which I don't know what that equals cooked. I still have, I'd say, a good cup, maybe a cup and a half left that I'm going to let my kids eat. I have this little bowl that has some of the salad in it, probably about a cup and a half. Then I got three containers like this. There's probably about a little, maybe a cup in each of these and a salad. I just used the salad kit and threw some peppers, cucumbers, and onions on top. So I got three of those. And then it's still a little warm, so I decided I didn't want to eat it with a salad today. So I have one portion. There's probably a little bit more than a cup there. And then just some steamed broccoli with salt and pepper on it. So, I mean, out of two cups of dried rice, I got three, four, Five portions for me and at least one more serving, maybe even two in here. So six servings doesn't seem so bad, um, especially when you think about everything else that was added in. So everything in this bowl is simply filling, so this is zero points, and everything in these is simply filling. So zero point lunches for the rest of the week. Yeah, I'm excited. So, and then I have some, a half a bowl of steamed broccoli, which I will probably eat with or without it. Once it's cold, maybe I can throw it in the salad. Um, so yeah, feeling good about my decision. I am exhausted. Sorry, I know I look a hot mess. Um, I was hoping to get a nap in while Willow napped, but I put her down before the auditor left so I didn't really have time to lay down but I'm gonna eat and just kind of rest my feet and my brain for a few minutes I will see you guys in a bit bye hi guys hi friends so it is supper time it is insane here my kids have decided to be little demons so supper. I am having one serving of the rice salad I made for lunch. Roasted asparagus, cauliflower, beets. There is one point worth of the um, earth balance organic vegan butter on the beets so this whole plate is one point. I do have one teaspoon no, I don't. I have one teaspoon between all of the vegetables I did of olive oil, so that is zero. And one point. I'm going to go eat. Bye. Hi, friends. So it is actually Friday morning. I wanted to jump on here because I never finished out last night's vlog. So before I start today's, I'd like to finish yesterday's. So my first full day on Simply Filling went really, really good. I feel like I made good choices. I only used three points. Um, three points from my weeklies yesterday. Two for the avocado I had for breakfast and one for a little bit of Earth Balance vegan butter that I had at supper time on my beets. Um, I'm definitely going to have to sit and spend a little time doing some research for things like snacks. Um, this week, today, tomorrow, Sunday isn't so bad. I still have 14 weeklies left. Um, but I can tell that it is going to be a lot of work plan-wise to stay within 28 points in a week. Um, I know that I can dip into my fit points too, but I really don't want to do that. So I'd like to stick to four and under points a day, which is, which is tough for someone like me. 
Um, I like to eat a lot of avocado and I have decided that even though the um, sorry the Pepperidge Farm 45 calorie bread is simply filling I would personally rather put the Ezekiel bread in my body I think it is healthier for me than the Pepperidge Farm bread and I know the Pepperidge Farm bread is fine um, but I personally enjoy the Ezekiel bread better which means just for that with for one piece and one point worth of avocado that's three out of my four daily points so it's definitely going to be a lot of work which means I need to come up with some snack ideas that are zero points um, that I that aren't just fruits and vegetables sometimes I want to have pita chips and hummus or things like that and I don't know where the points for that would come from unless I had some days when I didn't use any points which is fine I am going to um, buy some steel cut oats and work on a batch of overnight oats so that I only have to eat the Ezekiel bread and avocado every other day or every three days or whatever um, so hopefully the overnight oats will satisfy me and hopefully I can make them so that they are completely simply filling so that my breakfast doesn't take away any of the points I have. But I'm not working with much and I feel like I am very, very limited at what I can do that is not simply filling. So... Maybe this plan won't work for me. I feel like it will. I just have to find that that balance. Being able to find ways to eat the foods that I love and that are good for me that fit within my points. So, I mean, it's going to take more than one full day, and I know that, which is why I've kind of committed to at least two weeks. I'm going to just give it two weeks and see what happens. Um, I think it was also a little hard that I started in the middle of a week, or actually when my week was almost over. Um, it'll be easier to start fresh this coming Monday, start a brand new week, and have seven days to kind of feel everything out. Um, not that I'm not going to follow it the rest of the weekend, I am. But I think these next couple of days I have more points to play with than I normally would. So... I just don't want to get too comfortable in it all. Um, so if any of you have any zero point snack ideas, like I said, that are not just fruits and vegetables, because that's the bulk of my day anyways, um, let me know. And that's going to be it for yesterday's vlog. I didn't eat anything after supper. I got all my water in. I got all my steps in yesterday. So I am... Well, on my way, I am going to sit today during nap time and do some research and stuff. I did order last night. It probably won't be here until Tuesday or Wednesday because of the holiday. Um, but I did order the fitness pack extension for my happy planner. I could not find the fitness planner itself online. Everywhere was sold out probably because of... Um, step into tracking um, but I did find the extension pages which is four months worth which is plenty for now um, to put in my happy planner and I think I'm going to try to at least use those I have not tracked in my tracker for weeks and I feel bad because I had some really beautiful kits that that aren't cheap and I feel like it was a wasted money to have them and not use them. Um, I just, I just have not been in that mind frame. But I mean, this was the week of Christmas. I didn't track anything. Had a beautiful gingerbread kit from Jesse um, at Jay Wackers. I did not track then. Uh, the week before. I only tracked half the week. The week before I only tracked half the week. 
I need to find my groove tracking wise and I think step into tracking will really help me with that and the only reason I decided to order the fitness pages is because I think it will help if I have just that to track on those pages and it has everything that I need a place for my steps a place for 10 cups of water which other than um, the step into tracking stickers that Jesse did I have not been able to find any hydrate tracker stickers that have 10 cups they're all only eight so Hopefully Monday I'll be able to jump right back in and start the tracking and start being more accountable for everything. So that's it for now. I'm going to let you go for this so that I can close out and get this video uploaded and start my video for today. Bye guys.